Hello, collective. What's up? What's up, collective? Somebody's trying to, uh, somebody in the collective wants you to feel like you're not deserving of something, okay? That's what it's saying. Somebody is making you feel like you're not deserving of something, and you are. Don't let that old energy latch to you, collective. Don't let that old energy latch onto you. That's what I'm gonna, that's my advice. Spirit guides, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Welcome to Pound Star Oracle. I'm Pound, nice to meet you. So let's get into it. What is a message for the collective? Spirit guides, what's a message? Oh, watcher, be your own witness. Someone is watching you. They're watching you from a, from a distance. They're watching to see if you will, uh, not, they're watching to see if you're going to not feel, uh, content. Truth, let it show. Someone's watching you show your truth and they're learning that they need to do this. This watcher spirit. But your bliss, your contentment is in hand. You're, you feel blissful. <laughs> see, because these people are watching you when you when you speak your truth that's when you feel content in the world so don't doubt what your abilities whatever they are it's working oh and then we got 21 clover release your guilt release this guilt because you told the truth about things in your life just let it all go up in smoke light a candle and say i release this guilt back to you divine I'm sorry that I had to tell the truth, but I had to tell the truth, and I had to speak the truth, and just let it flow. Someone's watching you. Oh, and then we got aloof. Someone is watching. They're wanting, they think you're aloof, and it's saying seek non-attachment. <laughs> that looks like my dog Bella, don't it? See it? <laughs> so, um... You, you, it says you're your own witness. You've watched this person and their mind is aloof at the moment because they're not telling you the truth. That's why. They're in a conundrum. They're up in the air. They're up in their head because they can't tell their truth. That's not me. I have told my truth. Throne, your potential is in, endless. See, bliss. See, bliss come out for you and because you're content on your throne. You're content on your throne. So release this guilt. Release the guilt of feeling guilty about it. Castle, it's time for healing, not war. See, you're not healing at your castle. You're not in war with yourself anymore. So, <coughs> so release that guilt. So, they might be a tower moment coming. And um, when it comes, you might feel a little aloof and up in the air. But you had to do this to get on your throne, you know. That's for somebody out here. I'm sitting on my throne. I've, I've done been telling everything. You know, I'm not afraid to tell it. No, 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 I'm not. And I don't want you all to be either collective. Let's see what one of these is that comes out today. You're destroying uh, this, this person that's watching you. And they can't keep their fucking eye off of you. You're, you're destroying this person. <laughs> so don't worry, it said, okay? Don't worry, collective. What else do we need to know? Who's watching? Oh, it flipped it in the floor. A saboteur. So, uh, you know, this highlights your fear of self-empowerment and the changes it would bring to your life. So you're, there's people watching and... They see that you're empowering yourself at the moment. And truth, 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 Prince, let it show. There's a romantic charm and potential for power. There's some Prince around wants to tell you the truth of how much they really love you now. They want to tell you that they feel content. And there's a lot of gossip going on. Oh, there's somebody trying to sabotage you at the moment. It's some young energy that's... um. Might be latched onto your internet, and not, you don't even know this son of a bitch. And, uh, and um, they're going around gossiping to other people. So there's some young energy. This could be a child of yours that people is gossiping about or something. I don't know, but 
whoever this person is, they thrive on passing on secret inter information and they try to undermine. They, this person always tries to undermine you. You need to release your guilt forever even thinking of this person, I guess, you know, and because uh, you're an advocate. You inspire, this inspires you to put compassion into action. See, you're very compassionate and, and you put it into action and you tell people, you got to release this guilt. And how many times have I told you on my channel, Collective? You got to release guilt. If somebody's died or something, you got to release that guilt. If somebody doesn't see your value or worth, you got to release that guilt of, of loving that person, okay? Somebody is aloof. Somebody is aloof at the moment, and they got to seek non-attachment, but you're, you're destroying this person. Uh, this could be the reason they're aloof is because they're intoxicated with destructive power. They're trying to sabotage you. They, they're trying to... Uh, <laughs> they're trying to destroy your dreams or potential, but they're not going to be able to do that. They're not going to be able to do that because, see, you're not up at your... I'm not in my head. You all might be collected, but I'm not. Whoever this person is, they're up in their head, and you're liberating yourself from this person, or you already did liberate yourself from this person. You, you released those negative thought patterns because that's what was destroying you to be a guide and be on your throne. Yeah, I released that guilt of ever putting all my love and attention on someone that only gossiped about me. I released that to you, spirit guides, and 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 to, um, to my spirit team to heal for whoever this is. And I hope you heal their hearts, spirit guides, and their mind. But you're somebody who sits on your throne, and this is me. I sit on my throne, and I tell you all to release. I've told you about all this gossiping shit that was went on in my life, and I spoke it, and I let it out. I liberated myself from it, my self-destructive habits. Did you understand? I liberated myself from that. Yeah, I did. And there, uh, it's time for healing, not war. This is a bully. This is a bully that you're destroying. Uh, so whoever this bully is, uh, they're scared that you're going to speak about physical abuse that they've done. Well, I'll tell you right now, bullies. I will talk about you. Yes, I will. I, I've I've been bullied before. I've been bullied and beat on and bruised many many times in my life by brothers and by 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 partners that I was with. And I tell you right now, I'm destroying them. You know, but uh, somebody out here, you're preparing for a new life. You're releasing this negative thought pattern. You are a guide for others. You're healing yourself and others. And you're teaching people that they need to get off their fucking ass and get out of this castle where it's always war because that son of a bitch just wants to be a bully because they don't want you to be an advocate. Because they know all the gossip is going to come out that they're a piece of shit. They're a piece of shit. And um, you won't be around to uh, to uh, hold, uphold them and all their... You, you always have to tell this person all the time who is bully, arrogant, narcissist is. You always have to tell this person, hey, look, you son of a bitch. I'm t I, you know, uh, don't you realize that you you need praise all the time? That's how you know that is a narcissist. And I see right here on the top, I see obsessive love, husband. This is someone's husband, okay? And um, they're putting you in the victim mode at the, at the moment. There's a bystander that has, and a witness has saw how this person treats you, this perpetrator. They might have even sexually assaulted you before. You're feeling uh, like abandonment. And you need to get out of that feeling because this person obsessively loves you. They don't love you the correct way. And um, if you don't get away from this person, you're going to die of dementia. That's what it's saying. And these are past life cards. Maybe... Um, Maybe this prince, uh, maybe this person that you was up in, uh, maybe this person that you was up in your head over, they just liked that you gave them attention. They went around spreading a lot of gossip. They betrayed your confidence. Um, and and uh, they're, they're placing negative thoughts towards you at the moment so don't don't let that because you're somebody who's very compassionate that's why all this bully energy's coming out because they're latched on your channel these people that went around gossiping and lying on you in the town whoever it is 
they're latched to your internet. They're latched to whatever you do. They're and they're placing these spirits to keep you feeling like you're this and I'm not this. Ten ten. Ten ten and the divine's helping me. It's all in divine timing. But I tell you right now, the divine is gonna destroy this son of a bitch and you're gonna be liberated and you're gonna be up there on your pedestal. And because you're child eternal. You're you're an eternal child. You you determine to re remain young in, in mind, body, and spirit. You have the ability to see things with fresh eyes. See, you can speak to these people with fresh eyes about what a real bully is. And that's what I do. I tell y'all about the bullies, bullies in life. Now, ain't a collective? Yes, 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 I do. And yes, and yes, and yes, I do. Let's see what pulls out here. Meditation. High Priestess of Air. You need to meditate if you're an air sign. You need to meditate. Spirit guys, what is it? Something that we need to know today. Oh, we need to know differences. Number 36. So, <laughs> you're learning the difference uh, in the way you do something and the way this person does something. You're all like night and day, like black and white. You know, you're, you're coming to terms with your differences in one another. And 36, and that is a nine. Maybe nine is uh, your life path. Maybe this is an ending that's bringing a new beginning. You need to accept your all's differences and cut ties with each other. That's what it's saying. That's what it's saying. Exactly what it's saying, collective. Oh, and look, I'm a life path number nine, and I live at 22. Letting go. Letting go. Letting go of all things so you can transform and just be. That's what it said now. This is freedom is important to everyone. If you love something, set it free. Don't hold too tight to chase it away. See, that's what you had to learn. And choose what you want. Let others do the same. You'll be so happy that you did miracles. Miracles come when you let go. Magic happens on its own. So, you know, you're needing to uh, let this go so this magic can happen. And that's why this is taking place. That's why this uh, chaos is, has got to take place. And it says a storm is brewing and misunderstandings are all too common as chaos swirls around your life right now. After a storm, the air is cleared and life will begin ever better than before. If, if, I, if you created the chaos, you will have to clean it up but if others are to blame then get out of the energy did you hear that so i mean uh maybe this chaos is coming around because you you might have uh been in that chaotic energy you know but it's saying after this storm and after the air is cleared your life will begin again better than before so Somebody's going through tower moments at the moment because you realize you had to let go because your all's differences. Y'all kept butting heads collective. And if this rings true for someone in my collective, then you need to let me know today and you need to tell me and I'll tell you that I love you all and I appreciate you. And I thank you all and I do and I appreciate you all very, very much. Yes, I do. And now let me... Um, Let me see what some of these say. Is these my cards? Okay. Spirit guides, can you help us with a message for me and my collective? It says, they want to take you and hide away with you from the outside world. They want to show you the real person you've been needing in life was them. So you got to cut ties with this bully out here that's trying to sabotage your journey with this person that you're meant to come together with all they're doing is set back in and gossiping on you all that's all they're doing and it says um this person is thinking of making a fast move to you but they're trying to plan it out good so they don't mess up with you that's what it is okay so they love you and uh you all got to um speak about your all's differences okay and uh, somebody might be getting ready to take uh, legal action. 
Oh, so maybe um, you need to take legal action on these people that went around gossiping and um, you was an advocate and you you always walked in compassion and you told your truth and you, maybe you need to take, maybe your partner is a person that does love you in the background that you love. They're telling you, you need to go take legal action against these bullies that tried to put you down and they didn't want you to do your, they didn't want you to sit on your throne. And somebody could have been sexually harassing you and you might be going to take them to court. But it says, uh, these people want everybody that you want. They're not happy until they go and sleep with you, your people, your person. But you feel their energy and you know exactly who sends negative energy to you. That's what, whoever these people are, they just want it to be with whoever you was with. And you know whose negative energy this is. It's a bully. This bully don't want you to be with. And this person is manipulating this situation at the moment. See, this bully's trying to manipulate you and acting like they didn't ever do nothing to you now. And uh, you know, if, you, if you've been sexually harassed and they're like, hey, can I grab you by the PUS? That's why you know for a damn fact that can. That they should have never done that shit. They've been, they're, they're going around lying to people saying they didn't do that. Well, you're a damn liar. I know for a fact somebody said this to me. And I would always say, no, you can't. So quit fucking saying that, you old man. You're disgusting. And this is somebody I worked with. And by God, I'm going to tell you right now, it's true. It's true, and I'm going to tell you right now, you, you can't go around doing that. You need to change the way you fucking move and act, old man, because that ain't right. Nobody, everybody don't want your Peter head. Everybody don't want your Peter house. Don't you get it? Oh, but whoever that is, they're they're in love with you, and 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 they're over here making a lot of wishes that you're not going to make it on your platform now. They're manipulating it some way. Did you hear that? You're going to destroy their ice in court. That's why that come out. Destroy your what else under uh, they want to take you and hide you away. Stop letting people who does so little for you control so much of your mind, feelings, and emotions. And uh, so that's what it's saying. Don't these people uh, don't let them even come back in your mind. And I did. I I, I walked away from people like that. I did. I walked away from people that was saying dumb shit like that. Yes. And that's why upgrades is coming to our spiritual practice. Upgrades is coming to mind because I speak my truth to people and about the people who was stopping me. Yeah, I do. I speak the truth. And it says, uh, don't people understand that God will bring you to your twin? It's on God's timing, divine timing. So these people that think that they can stop this, they can't. They can't. And if they think they can stop, like, court, you can't. You can't stop court. It's all about whenever this woman or man decides to go do that. That's all it is, buddy. Plot twist. The story's changing. Plot twist. Somebody's changing their story. This person at uh, might have sexually harass you they're changing their story and uh they're they're trying to send negativity towards you at the moment they're booing your platform they acting like they didn't do nothing to you though but they've changed their story so many times it ain't funny and you can hear these per this person's thoughts and it's a little bit fucking creepy yeah you've heard this person you you heard and you know how creepy they are because they told you that's how you know how fucking creepy they are because they told you and uh and uh, this person uh, that loves you and they love to uh, try to uh, steal your dreams or come into your dreams, they just like to party hardy. You ain't coming into mine. You're not coming into mine. And uh, and when you see a crab, it may mean they're doing lunar magic on you, a spiritual person. So this person could be a cancer since crab came out. But they're doing magic on you. They're doing magic under the moon. That's what it means. That's exactly what it means. And... And, um, let's see, uh, what did it say? Reptilians. Reptilians, survival, tyrannical, militant, and relentless predators, cruel bullies. They view everything as competition. They're in that fight or flight brain. They are, somebody is going to be under interrogation. Huh? The, so they're going, somebody's going to interrogate them, this person that you moved away from. Yeah. And uh, they they might be into football a lot, whoever this person is that said, hey, can I grab you by the wussy and shit like that? No. And they was always like, I wish you'd be mine someday. 
but your spirit is like a wildflower growing next to the interstate. You see its beauty and it always catches everyone's eyes. It's wild and free. That's me. That's by me, Pound Star Oracle. That's by me, Pound Star Oracle, this quote, so don't steal it. So see, your spirit is wild and free. You're needing to be wild and free and um, get away from this person that interrogates you all the time. That's what it said. That's what it said. Your twin loves you. Oh, God, they've loved you ever since the first day they laid eyes on you. Your beauty is mesmerizing to them because you're an angel. You're an angel. They didn't understand. They didn't understand. They can't keep you away from your twin. These dumb dumbs. God, oh, I love spirit guides. Look how much. Look, 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 look. Twin flames, told you. Told you your twin flame loves you. Does anybody believe me? A twin flame didn't even come out other than God will bring you to your twin. And you're, here's how you know if you got a twin flame. You all can speak to each other through telepathy. Your intuition leads you to each other. You're, you're, you're very unique. You go through a spiritual and kundalini awakening with each other. It's an intense connection. Your soul recognizes each other. You mirror each other's actions. See? 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 And look, keep on healing all of humanity. See? See? You're meant to heal all of humanity. Twin flames, you're supposed to come together to heal all of humanity. And these sons of bitches that doesn't care, that doesn't want you to come together, well, it doesn't matter. Because growth and expansion is happening in your spiritual life at the moment because you're mystical to people and you have psychic awareness. Scorpio. So maybe you have Scorpio like in your Venus. Huh? Yeah, I know what that means. But um, you bring psychic awareness about uh, getting away from people, places, and things that's not meant for you so you can transform you need to let go and transform and stop letting these people that that uh, try to control you so you can receive your upgrades of spirituality. Do you get it? Do you get it, collective? That's what you need to damn do. And you need to listen to what I'm saying to y'all. Oh, wow. Because somebody uh, has been uh, looking into your past and they're amazed by the transformation you went through. And uh, they're wanting to celebrate with you. They're wanting to celebrate with you. And they want to grow and build a life with you. They see you as so beautiful. And you've grown so beautiful. And they love you. They love you, Collective. And I love you all. And I hope you'll hit like or tell me something. But somebody knows. And you're all getting ready to celebrate. And these people at Nosy Perez's. These people at... Well, poking their nose in your business and saying, hey, can I grab you by the wussy? Their ice is going to go to jail if they keep it up. Because, uh, and somebody misses this, your twin, they miss your intellectual and complex mind. They love your mind and they know your mind is beautiful. And that's why they can't keep their nose out of your business now. Because I love this card and this is my favorite. Nobody has permission to steal my cards the way I draw and color them and all my knowledge can't. But you're a beautiful old soul. Be proud of it because you are wise beyond your years. And you have a lot of knowledge to share with others. And I do. And I love it. 23-23. Seeing their boo. And these people are trying to manipulate and uh, and uh, t tell people to not come towards my channel. These people, they're, they're even doing that. They're manipulating my channel so it won't grow. And manipulating people to see that I am an old soul that has lots of love. But they're trying to manipulate Divine Masculine. They're trying to say that you're not. And if your Divine Masculine has any sense, they'll, they'll realize that this energy is not yours. This energy that pulls out is these other people. Nosy ass people get on my nerves. And people who act innocent, actually they have a hidden agenda. They had a hidden agenda. <laughs> you know what they've been doing. You know what they've been doing. You know exactly. They're scared you'll find out. They're scared you'll find out that that, that they've been uh, holding on to feelings for you, this person. Uh, I think they're scared you'll find out that... Uh,
these people's acting innocent, they're scared you'll find out that the law actually come to talk to them. That's why that come out. Uh, military. That's what it is. Uh, the law's been talking to them. The law's been talking to them. That's what it is. And maybe you're clair sent, clair audience, and and you. This is the gift of clear hearing. And you you heard these people saying whole sentences about you. They was trying to poke their nose into your life. This person that you need to take to court. That's what it's saying. You you heard them, and and, and it might even be wrote. It might even be documented, like you know. And you and your your divine masculine fucking knows because he got messages every time these people fucked with me. Yeah. So there you go. Did you need that information? Oh, this person is emotionally dependent and they don't rely on you or someone else to make them feel whole. See, you're good with yourself. You feel good with yourself. These people are just trying to make you make you feel shitty and they can't. They can't, and whoever that man and woman is, they're screwing around and acting like they never did. They're acting like they never did. Whoever this other person is, they're acting like they never did. But whoever it is, they got abused from a narcissist. They got abused, abused by a narcissist. Oh well, and look, look, and whoever this is, uh, they're in a toxic marriage, and there's a lot of uh, threesomes going on. That ain't me. That ain't me. That is not me. That is not me. They're scared you'll find out that they were screwing another woman behind behind their woman's back. That's what they don't want out. This person that that was fucking with you, like at my job, this person that's fucking me at my old job, uh, they was fucking around behind their woman's back. And 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 they've been lying to this woman for years, but that your husband is a narcissist, ma'am. Your husband is a narcissist, and just one look is all it took to feel that fire burning deep below. The love is fierce, bold, fiery, and the brain tingles you send to me feels undeniably great. That's my me, Pam. So, I mean, old soul, you and your twin has brain tingles. You and your twin has brain tingles, and, and they love you. And you all need to just keep on healing all humanity. Because you're beautiful. Look at all them beautiful cards. And if you love my beautiful cards in the way I do, you need to help me get around in this spiritual community now. Because I do this way, and I did all this drawing artwork before any of these other people. So the people that has artwork on their on their channel, that, and, and, and they just started doing it about two months ago, well, learn where they learned to steal it from. They stole it from me. But God's going to uphold me. And I'm the original artist on here that draws cards like this. There's not, there, there wasn't people doing it until I started doing it. And now I know that that's all they do around now. But it's all right because they, they're the ones that's going to end up uh, having to pay me back for stealing my ideas. And I know they did. I've watched your channel. I know. Go outside and hug a tree and experience all the old you growing into the new. That's what you need to do today, you old souls. Go outside and get close to them trees and ground. Because this man is wanting to grow and build with you. They fucking love you. They know that you don't depend on anybody else. But they want to take care of you. They want to help you. They love you. That's all it is. That's all it is. Exactly what it is. And honor and love yourself collective. Because you are unique and different. And know that God loves each and every one of us. And we're all supposed to be different. And I do love that. And I love this about me. That's why Upgrades is coming to me. And upgrades is coming to somebody else in my collective that is actually for me. You know it. And look on the bottom. It says there's a there's somebody holding a grudge against you and me collective. They think it's our fault and they didn't even do nothing to hurt us. And they're holding on to tight to our energy. But God is telling, and you have a secret admirer watching you. You have a Aquarius. Aquarius, you have a secret admirer watching you. And um, this person appreciates your being there and showing up for them like a fucking loving warrior. They think of you many times a day and they're pulling on you through telepathy. See, see, that's why this reptilian's pissed off because he knows he was fucking around on you. This is somebody, this is a partner you're with right now. This motherfucker's been fucking around on you and he knows that this man loves you. And he's been fucking on with another woman right behind your back and lying to you. Lying to you because he's a fucking narcissist. He's a fucking narcissist. Do you get it? He's a narcissist. And, um, and, um, and old soul Aquarius, you pour out all your love to everyone you meet. Your hope for all, Aqua. 
somebody loves you, they, they, they love your old soul, and they know that you're emotionally dependent, and they want to grow and build with you. This is Divine Masculine. Look how beautiful. Look, and you all just keep on healing all of humanity. Look at that. Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful that is, Collective. Look at old soul growth. You teach others. And that's me. That's me. I am an Aquarius that does that. And that's what I'm meant to do. And my twin loves me. And people get so mad because they don't have a twin. Well, I can't help it. Maybe you've not met them yet. Maybe you wasn't supposed to meet them yet. You know, you never know why God does that. I don't know, Collective. But don't get mad at me. That's what I'm going to say. That's what I'm going to say. Now, let's see what we can pull out right here. Let's see what, so somebody's watching you, a secret admirer, and it is your twin. Twin, hello, twin. Hello, twin, I love you, my twin. Do you love me? Why don't you tell me how much? Science is like magic, but real. Science doesn't care what you believe in, so, so you love science, and this person, they like science, too. They believe in your magic. They know that you're, that you and them are healing all humanity, and, um, and you use your common sense. You got a good smart mind. You have a lot of common sense. And that's why the birds of wisdom. You got wisdom and you let it just flow out ever so gently. That's what it's saying. The birds are, are telling you that use your common sense. This person loves you. Oh, wow. And you're going to receive a message. And it's about your growth. Your, your growth, you're becoming a star because you're making it. You're, you've, you brought your dreams to life. You're doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. See? I'm doing it, you're doing it, and, and somebody sees us. Oh, wow. What else? What else we need to know that? What else? What else? Oh, and a somebody that you need to keep your distance from, this Cyclops that try to hang you. See that noose around up there? Do you see that at the top of this shit right there? Somebody tried to hang you up in a situation. And you've kept your distance from that person. Yeah, you kept your distance from them because they uh, they was trying to hang you. They got their eyes staring on you like crazy now. And, you know, it be like that sometimes. You don't owe this person shit. They're up shit creek without a paddle, whoever this person is. They've hung their self. They hung their self. The spirit guides, spirit guides guided you away. They give you a potion like... To make your dreams a reality. So these son of a bitch's eyes will pop out when when they see who you are. And you'll be like, it just be like that sometimes. I don't need you and I, I really don't care what you think. Do to do manipulators. You unmask these people. It's three or more people. They been uh sending out messages and lying on you. That's what it means. Exactly what it means. Use your common sense. And I do. I have a lot of fucking common sense. Because I'm Aquarius. My, my mind is smart. My mind is older than any of these people. It says, you got an old soul. I know I fucking do. I'm an Aquarius. We're the oldest and more advanced than fucking light years advanced than some of these people. Do you get it? And I do fucking get it. But someone admire, admire someone's beauty without questioning your own. Uh, the courage to take risk. You're doing great. You're, you're getting with it. Uh... Cash is coming to you. Too blessed to be stressed. Yeah. You want to receive a message about somebody is, uh, might have been trying to steal your cash. Yeah. And, uh, she believed she could, so she did. You did all the work. And, uh, you chart the stars. And maybe you, um, maybe you, uh, are in the Navy or, you like going out to sea? Maybe. Somebody that's watching me. Maybe you go fishing a lot. Oh, look, Aquarius. Look, Aquarius pulling the... It says, Dwight, you intelligent man. See, Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Does anybody believe my readings? Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, you kept your distance from this people that was fucking with you. They're admiring you. These are your enemies. And you also have a secret admirer. That is your twin. They love you and they're wanting to grow with you. And you need to make yourself proud. You kept your distance with this person and you're making yourself proud at the moment. You're pouring out your love to everybody that you meet. That's what you do, Aqua. 
because you know you're a tribal leader you're the tribal leader and and, and you can teach people about how Sometimes you'll be up shit creek without a paddle. We all go through this in life. Sometimes we're on top. Sometimes we're on the bottom. Sometimes we go through towers and sometimes we don't. But, you know, it, it's okay. And I love you. And don't worry. You need to hit subscribe today. And I love you. And I love you all. And and I appreciate you. And you're strong. You're very resilient. And you're, because you're an indigenous. You're, you're a American Indian. You're a leader. You're a leader. Uh, maybe you're an Indian who uh, rents out uh, canoes or something. And if you are, you need to hit subscribe or like or something or, and tell me. Uh, somebody, these people has been experimenting with all your knowledge. You unmask these people. Yeah, and I have. Hey, y'all, uh, hey, y'all. Uh, what you say? You can't steal everything I do. Hey, y'all, uh, hey, y'all. Uh. You're being the change. You're being happy. And you don't trip over something that is behind you. See, don't trip over shit that's already behind you. And we will not. We will, rock, we will not trip over something that's behind us. Why would we keep questioning something that is behind you? Don't. Don't question shit that you've already left. Don't. Don't. Leave it in the past. Um, and then we have somebody said, you're a bitch. Here you are again, bitch. You're out here. We thought you'd never be back, but you come back every day and you do things painlessly and effortlessly. And how can we make you stop? It's some bitch around. Bitching, bitching, bitching because your old soul comes out here and speaks to many people and they don't like it. And, and whoever that bitch is, she'd rather be in bed bitching and growling and complaining. And You're like, come over here, fuck with me, and I'll show you how fucking courageous I am. You can't do, get nothing done in bed. We'd all like to be stuck in bed, but you can't get nothing done in bed. Oh, a Morincia. They 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 give you a liquid candy potion. They they put something in your drink, uh, a potion that causes a powerful infatuation or obsession in the drinker. So see, they put something in your drink, some some liquid something in your drink to make you stay in bed and like morning them and being infatuated and it didn't work and it didn't work it didn't work and they do <laughs> it didn't work and if you like my new cards you need to tell me <sighs> i do a different way and i need people's help because they latch onto my internet and i think god is getting ready to do a huge turnaround in my life my life for that you're all gonna see how powerful god is right here any day now i know it maybe even tomorrow Life is too short to wait on dogs. Life is too short to keep waiting on this fucking dog to tell you something. That dog ain't going to tell you nothing. That dog ain't going to tell you nothing. You need to not go back to that dog. Life is too short. You need to leave the dog in the damn dust. Leave the dog in the dust. Because you are strong. Because you're strong enough to do it. You're strong enough, and you did. And if you're like me, I did. I left these motherfuckers in the dust. I was strong enough. You start at loving yourself. You're very good. You're you're a uh, you're a you're a spiritual leader. You know you're 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 of the light. That's why that feather came out. You're a guide. You're a mentor. I am. I know I am. And everybody that watches me, that doesn't mean you're supposed to be a guide and spirit mentor. You young people, you're not because a lot of you all haven't had enough life experience to teach. You don't know how to do things like this. Because you haven't got enough knowledge in your brain of, of experience 3838. 38. Okay? 1111. 1111, twin flame loves me, I know. <laughs> Somebody said, Texas, howdy. If you live in Texas, howdy to our Texas. They love you and they see you're strong. They see you're strong. And they said they know you're going to win now. And I love you, friends in Texas. And somebody might be slightly bitter because of all your common sense and you're letting out all these secrets. And they, they're slightly bitter because you have a lot of bright ideas that they just can't get. Well, you weren't supposed to. I meant to do this way. This is the way I do. I didn't steal anybody's way. This is the way I do. This is the way Spirit guided me. We can all go around and buy stickers, but we can't use the same one. See, and I'm not. I'm doing different, and I do different, and I, sh and I teach people how. And, you know... Nah, sister, you're not going. You're not going to get me to no secondary location. 
This is tough, but so are you. See, they're slightly bitter. They're, they're not wanting you to rise. They're wanting you to stay behind them, this person in Texas. Well, Texas, howdy. I don't give a fuck because you're not going to make me stop. Nah, sister, you're not getting me to no secondary location. No, nah, you can't. You can't stop my bright ideas. Yes, this is tough, but so am I. And I'm telling you right now, I've done, I've done been preaching to YouTube and, I, and a lawyer about all my, about all my telephone. I'm just letting it, I'm just letting it be known right now. Just letting it be known right now. You better stop fucking with me. Here we got some more Aquarius. Only one in the world. I've never seen anything like this, like this before. See, nobody's never seen anything new and, and, and great like I'm doing. And that's why I can teach you all this, you know. And this is talking about moving from calm waters to still. See, I know how to do this. I have the knowledge that brings it back to you all. I mean, you all can stay in shit creek if you want to, but I'm not staying in shit creek. No, because native pride, more Native American. Look, two or three come out. Hey y'all, hey y'all, you're leading the way. Hey y'all, this is my pack. Hey y'all, you need to hit subscribe, new people. Hey y'all, hey y'all, I'm telling you the truth. Hey y'all, I teach you a way different than others do. Hey y'all, oh God, but whoever this person is in Texas, Texas, howdy up there. They're up, they're gonna be up shit creek without a paddle because they they went around stealing my ideas and I done mentioned this before. Nah, sister. You're not getting me in second behind you because I'm telling the truth about you. Yikes, we're open for backdoor business. Oh, she's in the open. She's open for the backdoor business. Somebody that's in Texas and does the same practice as me and you collective. Or somebody in your work or somebody you know that lives in Texas. They are into that backdoor shit and I'm not. I'm not. Oh, wow, and somebody's slightly bitter because you might have said something like that, but it's okay. Be patient. Just be patient. And, and during all life's storms, just be, be patient and trust the divine. That's all you got to do, trust the divine. You was patient. They, they was sending out this energy for me to be bitter, and I'm sorry, Collective, I was bitter, but they was sending that energy to attack to me because they was doing dark energy. They was doing... uh. Black magic or some shit on me. There's mixing up potions. There's mixing up potions that I wouldn't move into my purpose. But they can't do that because I have native pride. And this person, they're, they're all about doing the backdoor business, whoever this is up here. And uh, you, we're finding all the joy in the process. Success is not the end goal. Good things come to those who wait. Yeah, success is not the end goal. Good things come to all of those who wait. And we waited on it, and it's coming to us, Collective. Oh, ain't that fun? I got to finish writing my cards, Collective. I, don't, I might not be on here for a few days because I got a lot of work to do. And I just wanted to get this reading out for the, you all today, Collective, <coughs> to try to help you a little bit, all right, to figure out what's going on. And I think I did. And let's figure out who these others, who is this person coming up against Aquarius? What is this person's sign that is coming up against Aquarius? Or what do they have a lot in their birth chart of or something that will prove who that person is? Somebody has a Virgo moon. You're very intelligent. You're helpful, reliable, and determined, sincere, analytical, meticulous, and honest. Okay, what else? What else do we need to know? You're very intelligent, and, and you help people. It could be an Aries sun sign coming up against you. Active, ambitious, energetic, optimistic, courageous, honest, driven, spontaneous. But to be honest with you, Aquarius and Aries makes a good pair. Yeah, they're twin flames. Did you know that? I'm telling you the truth. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Maybe this Aries sun sign has a Virgo moon. Ooh. Feminine and masculine. Oh, it comes to light. I just told the truth. The sun, you know, and this is the ruler of Leo. This is the generator. This is about your potential, your radiance, your power, personality, essence, vitality. Yeah, so so uh, you're, you're very intelligent the way you communicate. You're very uh, helpful, and uh, you do things daily meticulously. You're honest. And people people love your, and this Aries is honest, and they love your honesty. 
they they're wanting to be spont spont spontaneous and and come towards you. You know, they're that goat energy. They're optimistic of your all's future together. They know that it's kind of light. It's kind of light that you're all meant to be together. It kind of light. Somebody might have a cancer moon. You know, and uh, cancer moons are very sensitive, patient, and caring. And this, the, whoever this person is, they're caring of you right now. They're, they, they're, they want to be your protector. Like the sun. This is father, father, son energy. And, and they want to have a child with you. That's what they're hiding. They're hiding their emotions from you, but but they're ha they might be having stomach problems at the moment. But they're very empathetic, and they 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 feel an intuitive pull to come towards you. They're they're devoted only to you. They're devoted. They're secretly watching you. I'm telling you right now, and and they're reclusive. Like and remember, look here. Look look. When you see a crab, it may mean that they're doing lunar magic. Look at the little crab. Okay, so right now what it's saying, they done magic on you all, you spiritual people, so you won't come together. That's what it boils down to. They done magic on you because they didn't want y'all to come together because they knew that you would be a power couple, a power fucking house. They knew it. They knew you'd be a powerhouse. They knew it, and um, so now I told on them, and that's all we need to know, okay? All right, collective, that's all I got today, and I love y'all, and I'm going to get off here and upload it. Please like, subscribe, and share, and, I, and I'll be back here to see y'all later. Later, alligators, and I love you, and if you love my new cards, then you need to let me know, because when I see these cards floating around, somebody's trying to take them, hey, you're going to get a lawsuit because, hey, you're not allowed to do that. I'm telling you right now. I didn't make these, but I'm, the sticker ones. I'm telling you about all these people that's been taking my ideas of the artistry. I was the first one to do that. Whoever went around doing that, you're going to you're getting ready to be judged by the divine because my work didn't get around, but your goddamn work did. And I know somebody, and they they T B C and that person right there. I was out before them, and, and their work got around, but I know somebody's latched to me, and it's all right. It's going to come back to you. Please like, subscribe, and share. I love y'all. I'm not scared. I'm not scared of nothing. Because I have God work with me and the police. Love you guys. Peace.